Welcome to MAPE, happy learning. Good day students and welcome to an exciting adventure of learning. This is your teacher Arnel Ibanez and let us have fun while learning. Let's first have a review of our topic last time. We discussed the arts of Southeast Asia countries. Let's answer an activity to know whether you understood our previous lesson. Write true if the statement is correct and write false if the statement is wrong. Use a separate sheet in answering this activity. Number 1. Thai art is heavily influenced by stories of Buddha and Indian epics. Number 2. In Sukhothai period in Thailand, the Buddhist sculpture is not beautifully expressed. Number 3. Laotian art often features themes of religiosity, which is Buddhism. Number four, stone carving in Cambodia is not intricate, detailed, and narrative. Number five, Cambodian art has also included silversmithing, lacquerware, a variety of textiles, and kite making. Number six, the art in Myanmar primarily centers on the Buddha and expressed in sculpture, architecture, relief, murals, and carving. Number seven, stone and bronze sculpture in Indonesia flourished between 11th and 12th century. Number eight, traditional art of Malaysia was centered on fields such as carving, silversmithing, and weaving. Number nine, Merlion statue is the famous sculpture of Singapore. And number ten, the most popular wood carving in the Philippines are carved of the Anitos, nature gods, saints, and statues of Christ and Blessed Mother. So after the lesson, you will be able to identify characteristics of arts and crafts in specific countries in East Asia, particularly China, which is Chinese painting and calligraphy, in Japan, origami, woodblock printing, theater masks, face painting, and anime and manga, and in Korea, theater masks, drums, and K-pop. In prehistoric men, they used red ochre pigment and black pigment to paint different types of features, animals, structures in caves. So early paintings often showed hunting scenes of men chasing various animals that were drawn on the walls of caves, blocks of stones, etc. Some are found in China. Unlocking of difficulty. Letter A. Art refers to the visual arts which cover the creation of images or objects in fields including painting, sculpture, print making, photography, and other visual media. Letter B, elements of arts. These are lines, shapes, textures, forms, space, color, and value. Letter C, the principles of arts are harmony, balance, proportion, dominance or emphasis, variety, movement, and rhythm. Letter D. Subjects, themes, motives. These are the terms used by the artist when referring to the object or items that are usually put into paintings. And letter E. Medium. 
refers to the type of material used to create an artwork of animals, people, landscape, environment are the common subjects used in Asian art. We are now in the arts grade 8, quarter 2, which is the arts and crafts inspired by the cultures of East Asia, namely China, Korea, Japan. This is prepared, of course, by Arnel D. Ibanez, your mate teacher in Tibag High School. The arts and crafts inspired by the cultures of East Asia, China, Korea, and Japan. What are the subjects, themes, and motifs in China? China is inspired by the flowers and birds, landscapes, palaces and temples, human figures, animals, bamboos and stones. So the characteristics of arts and crafts of China are the important aspect in East Asian painting or the Chinese painting, landscape. Painting was regarded as the highest form of Chinese painting. There are three concepts of Chinese arts, which is heaven, earth, humankind, or the yin-yang. This is an example of the yin-yang. Important aspect in East Asian painting. Silk was often used as the medium to paint upon, but it was quite expensive. Kai Lun, a Chinese eunuch, invented paper in the 1st century AD. It provides not only a cheap and widespread medium for writing, but painting become more economical. Chinese art expresses the human understanding of the relationship between nature and humans. This is an example of a Chinese painting. Next, we go to calligraphy. Chinese calligraphy. Painting is closely related to calligraphy among the Chinese people. Calligraphy is the art of beautiful handwriting. Traditional painting involves essentially the same techniques as calligraphy and is done with a brush dipped in black or colored ink. Oils are not used. In calligraphy, paper and silk are the popular materials which paintings are made of. Poets write their calligraphy on their painting. Earliest known Chinese logographs, ancient writing symbols, are engraved on the shoulder bones of large animals and on tortoise shells. These objects are commonly called jiaguwe or shell and bone script. This is an example of Jiagu Wen, an ancient Chinese character seen on an oracle bone. Kanji, the legendary inventor of Chinese writing, got his ideas from observing animals, footprints, and birds, claw marks on the sand, as well as other natural phenomena. This is an example of kanji. Now let us go to Korea. Korean masks. Korean masks called tal or tal. They originated with religious meaning just like the masks of other countries which also have religious or artistic origins. They use it in funeral services to help punish evil spirits. Masks were also used for shamanistic rites. In the 12th century, masks became part of elaborate dances. Rose 
use of colors in Korean mus masks. Black, red, and white. Bright and vibrant colors that help establish the age and race of the figure. Half red and half white mask symbolize the idea that the wearer has two fathers, Mr. Red and Mr. White. Dark face mask indicates that the character was born of an adulterous mother. Black, red, and white mask. Bright and vibrant colors that help establish the age and race of the figure. Half red and half white. Half red and half white mask symbolize the idea that the wearer has two fathers, Mr. Red and Mr. White. The dark face. Traditional drums of Korea. We have the buck. A wooden clapper used to signal the beginning and the end of a piece of music. It was used in court music and in dance. Janggu A distinctive eyeglass-shaped drum. With this dual pattern, the janggu is essential for the setting of rhythm and shape of many types of Korean music. Pok A cowskin drum. K-pop K-pop, short for Korean pop, is a genre of popular music originating in South Korea. It is influenced by styles and genre from around the world such as experimental, rock, jazz, gospel, hip-hop, R&B, reggae, electronic dance, folk, country, and classical on top of its traditional Korean music roots. In 1992, the more modern form of the genre emerged with the formation of one of the earliest K-pop groups, Shio Taiji and Boys. In 2000, the term K-pop became popular. In 2018, K-pop experienced significant growth and became a power player. In the pictures, you see the first generation K-pop idol groups from the 90s era. Next, we have the BTS, seven member South Korea boy band, and the Blackpink, South Korean girl group formed by YG Entertainment. Now we go to Japan. Wood block printing. It is a technique for printing text, images, or patterns used widely throughout East Asia. It is originated in China as a method of printing on textiles but eventually became a method for printing on paper. Japan adopted this method during the Edo period, which is 1603 to 1867. Wood block printing technique is one of the oldest and most highly developed visual arts in Japan. Japan's most common theme for printmaking describes scenes of everyday life. This is an example of a wood block printing. Ukiyo-e is best known and most popular style of Japanese art which means floating painting, was a kind of pop culture in organizing Edo, which is in Tokyo. It is related to the style of woodblock print, making that shows scenes of harmony and carefree of everyday life. ukiyo -e art was produced in a diversity of different media including painting and became an art domain of the upper classes and royalty but later was also produced by the common people. Ukiyo-e culture and its style have influenced anime and manga 
have, be, uh, have become Japan's most recognized form of pop culture today. This is an example of Okio e Bijanga, a geisha woman print by Kitagawa Utamaro. Paintings in East Asia do not only apply on paper, silk, and wood. Performers of Kabuki in Japan and Peking Opera in China use their faces as the canvas for painting, while mask painting is done in Korea as stated above. These are the Kabuki makeup of Japan. Kabuki makeup or Kesho is already in itself an interpretation of the actor's own role through the medium of the facial features. Kabuki makeup is also another way of face painting which has two types. The standard makeup which is applied to most actors. The Komodori makeup which is applied to villains and heroes. These are some examples of face painting that are Mukimi Guma or Soji Guma where the lines are painted onto an actor's face. These are then smart to soften them. It is composed of very dramatic lines and shapes using colors that represent certain qualities. Dark red, passion or anger. Dark blue, depression or sadness. Pink, which is youth. Light green, calm. Black, fear. Purple, nobility. Kumadori, the painted faces of Japanese Kabuki theater. These are examples. Now we go to origami, a Japanese art of paper folding. Origami, the term origami came from ori meaning folding and kami meaning paper. The goal of this art is to transform a flat sheet of paper into a finished sculpture through folding and sculpture techniques without cutting as much as possible. Flowers, animals, birds, fish, geometric shapes, and dolls are the common models used in Japanese origami. Now these are examples of origami. Manga, a Japanese comics, and anime, a Japanese animation. Manga is generally printed in black and white and cover a wide variety of genres and subject matter, aimed to both sexes and all ages. Themes include romance, action, adventure, science fiction, comedy, sports, and can also venture into darker subject matters for adults such as horror. Most manga aim to children. It uses a simplistic style and the adorable characters feed Japan's love for all things kawaii, which is cute. Characters also have oversized eyes through which the artist can convey emotion more easily. Once certain manga have proven their worth by popularity, the natural progression is for an animated TV series to be created. Hayao Mizayaki or Miyazaki is one of Japan's most famous, successful, and critically acclaimed anime. Most famous works include Princess Mononoke. This is an example of Ikyo e Bijinga Geisha Woman Print by Kitagawa Omotomaru or Products. Reflection Let's answer the following questions in a complete sentence. What values can you get from studying the different arts and crafts of the East Asian countries? Do you believe that Filipinos are also gifted in the field of arts? Support your answer. 
Why is it important for us to know the arts of our neighboring countries? That's it folks. I hope you enjoyed our lesson this morning. Which is the arts of East Asia. Japan, Korea, and China. This module was prepared by Maria Lourdes Grace S. De La Cueva, Teacher 3. The technical working groups are Jeremy R. Aquino, Head Teacher 1, Kimberly Ann Enriquez, Teacher 2, Evangeline C. Avena, Teacher 1. The evaluators for this class are Rosalina Vilma R. Samaniego, Principal 1, Gerald Don T. Miklat, Master Teacher 1. This was reviewed by Rosauro M. Perez, our EPS Supervisor in Mapping.